Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Dave and this is Scott's Toys, where we cover our passion, my passion, for Lego investing, our BrickLink store, and general reselling. This particular video is covering the general resale side of things. Figured I would go ahead and cover something kind of interesting that is happening today. And something that you kinda always have to be I guess aware of or willing to do and that is be willing to maximize uh, the efficiency or use of your time so with a full-time job and a family sometimes getting out and sourcing uh, can be a little bit of a challenge because you have other obligations other things that you need to do um, and so right now it is Saturday at 4.52 in the morning. Now, mind you, I am not a late sleeper by any means. I usually get up most mornings between 5.30 and 6 o'clock is kind of when I wake up. Maybe a little bit slower roll to the start of my day. However, when it comes time for the weekend and some of the things that you might want general resale, in this case, uh, sports cards, Pokemon cards, uh, some of those things don't release until a specific day at a certain time. And in this case, uh, our Meyer near us releases Pokemon cards and sports cards every Saturday at six o'clock in the morning. Which means if you're interested in purchasing any of those, you have to get there pretty early. Now, I'm not gonna be anywhere close to first in line in essence. There's usually a couple people that end up getting here around midnight and that just doesn't fit into my life anymore, which means they're gonna be more successful in their reselling endeavors, assuming that's what they're doing, than myself. Uh, mind you, I haven't been quick flipping these things. I've actually been enjoying opening them with you, as you've seen on the channel. Uh, I hope to do a little bit more of that coming up. But uh, in essence, right, when these boxes and packs drop at the store or are made available, Usually they're in limited quantities and so when you get a couple people that can get there that early They've got really really good odds of being able to take all the super what I'm gonna say valuable items Doesn't mean that there's not good stuff still available uh, and so I am still gonna go up there But you got to make use of that time like I'm saying so um, Family is still at home sleeping. I am running up to Meyer running on a little less sleep than I traditionally would because I got up at around 4.30, so at least an hour, maybe almost close to two, depending on the day, less sleep than normal. Um, but I'm gonna go up here. I'm gonna see what I can find for Pokemon and sports cards. And then after that, since I'm already out and about and since the family's not gonna be up for quite some time, I am actually gonna run up to our Walmart and check to see if I can find any of this quote unquote July clearance that uh, I've seen everybody posting recently. I know I'm a, a bit late to the game here, uh, at least with some of the sets. I have checked a couple Walmarts around me and some of them had uh, already had most of those sets gone that I could easily recognize but then a couple of them just hadn't run any deals or sales yet. So I am gonna go check one that I haven't checked yet. If I have a lot of luck there, I may go to a second one, but we will see. Uh, maybe I'll uh, give you some little updates along the way and we'll make this one a little bit of a journey episode. So uh, thank you so much for uh, uh, coming and checking our channel out. We'll provide you an update here next. We ended up, I guess, getting a few different items here. Ended up pulling some Bowman blaster boxes, and I'll make a point to recap all this at the end. This is the first stop. I am gonna go and do a little bit more hunting at uh, Walmart and a separate Meyer on the way back, or I guess I'm kind of going out of the way. Anyway, uh, I got two Bowman blaster boxes. I ended up getting two of a set that I didn't necessarily know about, which is the Top Select. I don't know whether to call it a blaster box though, because I'm pretty sure there's only 12 cards in the box, but it's the same size as a lot of the blaster boxes. Um, Meyer kind of charges a little bit higher prices for their cards, and I think they did so uh, because they knew that they were the only ones really carrying them or making them available to the public. 
Uh, I still don't think that you can walk into a Walmart or Target right now and actually pick up any of these things. Uh, anyways, I digress. So two Bowmans, two of the Selects, and I did end up getting two of the Prism football uh, packs. They were just the cello pack, so they're a little bit smaller. Uh, but those should be kind of fun to bust open, uh, which I think is what I'm going to do with all these. I don't think I had any uh, uh, crazy finds to the point that it would be worth really flipping the entire box or unit sealed. Uh, I enjoy opening these with you guys. So we're going to head up to another store here, see if we can find some more stuff. We have made it to Walmart. It is now 6.50. We're going to go over here and see if we can't find some clearance and maybe some good uh, uh, Lego sets. We'll see what we got. Ooh, we got some framed art. Not interested in that. Here is what our clearance aisle looks like. I see a blippy over there. We got some cars and a couple Hot Wheels. A monster truck, Grave Digger. Oh, I'm trying to see what stuff I might be interested in scanning. I'm more into the toys. The toys are kind of the fun stuff to us. Uh, we got some different papers there, but we're not going to go that route either. Mainly what I'm here is to try and see if we can find some Lego clearance. We got some video games. We got some El Toro Loco monster truck. So a couple little things I might scan. However, no huge hitters right over here. So we're going to go check the Lego out. Okay, first thing to note, I do see some clearance pricing. We've got these battle packs at 10. I don't know that I'll pick up those. Duan Mustafar for 15. Ooh, that one's a little tempting. We've got the Sith Tie for 60. We do have this one, the Zane Creature. I think we're gonna go ahead and get this. This one I think is gonna be a good buy. Ooh, we got this guy here. All right. I am gonna have to give you guys just a quick overview here. We've got 18 for the Battle Fighter. We got Tournament of Elements at 18. I think we're gonna have a pretty big score here. Uh, I apologize that I didn't pick up more on the Walmart side as it specifically related to the resale side of the channel. I will put in just a clip uh, or two of the Lego haul in essence that I did find. Um, you've probably already seen that earlier in the week if you follow the channel because it was huge mostly for the Lego investing side of things. This is clearance time of the year so we did find that. Let me go ahead and show you these uh, cards that I got down here. Just in summary, I told you I would show you what we've got. We started things off by getting these uh, Bowman, I think they're called blaster boxes in essence. Uh, I think there's like 72 cards per box. We got two of those at $26.99 plus tax a piece. My next round around the line ended up getting these Prism football cards. I think they refer to them as cello packs. There's 15 cards in there in essence, and uh, those were $12.99 a piece. I believe these are premiums. Uh, Meyer, I think, lists their stuff at, I want to say it's 10% above retail value in essence. So those were the no-brainers for me. I did go around the line one more time, and I picked up these Panini Select. I thought they were top select, but they're Panini Selects. And these were pretty pricey. I could have gotten at least half a dozen more of these, but I'm just not real comfortable with what they were. They were $24.99 plus tax a piece. And you can see they have 12 cards inside that box. It is not a blaster box. It is like a fancy pack. Now, maybe this will end up being a huge score. I don't know. I haven't checked out the Panini Select stuff. Uh, I haven't even really seen it anywhere. Talking to a couple of people in line, they hadn't either. So, yeah, uh, this is pretty much it for the resale side. Uh, you'll see a clip or two, again, of the Lego stuff that I have. Uh, I don't actually have that down here, so I can't share that with you at this moment. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you uh, enjoyed seeing my morning run. Hopefully you understand the concept that when you've got a full-time job, when you've got kids, you've got a family in essence, sometimes going out and doing the sourcing part of it can be challenging. And so I, I guess I'm going to just sum this episode up by you got to use the time that you can uh, to the best of what you can. I don't know. I, not that fancy. But in essence, right, don't be afraid to go out there super late on a run. Don't be afraid to get up a little extra early, right? Early bird gets the worm. There's a lot of expressions out there. 
Uh, that's what I picked up this week. I hope you enjoyed sharing this with me. Thank you all so much for watching. And as always, we will see you in the next video. Bye.